This is the dissection of the Kodak one-time use water and sport camera. This camera has 27 exposures on 800 speed film. It is waterproof up to 50 feet or 15 meters. Its expiration date is 07 of 2008. And the copyright date for this camera design is 2005. It's made by the Eastman Kodak Company. First, we remove the outer film advancing wheel, shown here, and the back. The rubber ring inside also comes out, so we remove that next. After that, we pry apart the waterproof casing. Once it's pried open, it comes off pretty easily. Here's the back. Next, we push the camera out of the front waterproof casing and sit that on the side. Now it's time to pry open the outer casing for the camera. And here's the back. And the front casing comes off quite easily. We'll set that to the side. Next, we start removing the components of the camera. First is the film reel, which helps advance the film. After that, we take the top plastic cover off. Here it is. To expose the components underneath it. The thumb wheel next comes off After that, we take the metering, metering level out of the camera. And then the counter wheel. Next, we'll begin the assembly of the uh, lens components. To get to the components, we have to first take off the lens cover. Here it is. Next, we'll take the outer lens out of the camera. And then the shutter spring. It's difficult to remove due to its small size. Once that's taken out, we take the taking lens out of the camera. Here it is. As well as the shutter blade. After that is the shutter cover, and finally the lens. Now that the disassembly of the shutter is taken, taken apart, we begin the dissection of the rest of the camera. First is the high energy lever. And then the cam. After that, we take the sprocket out. And the high energy lever spring. This is it for the components of the camera. We have finally dissembled 
the whole thing, and here is the plastic frame that holds everything together. First we reassemble the lens and shutter assembly. Then we reassemble the film advance and shutter release mechanisms. Finally, the outer casings are replaced.